Hello viewers, thank you for uh, returning and uh, for sharing with me these reflections from Paul's glorious letter to the Galatians. Um, we're looking at uh, chapter 4 of Galatians and uh, over the next two days, today and tomorrow, we're going to look at a sort of bef uh, before and after, a contrast uh, uh, that brings great news. So uh, first of all today, chapter 4 and verse 8 says this, Formerly, you, when you did not know God, you were slaves to those who by nature are not gods. So there are all sorts of different factions, all sorts of different spiritual powers and authorities that try and exert their influence upon us, try and encourage or urge us to follow them and to follow their ideas. These powers are not by nature gods. We treat them as gods. We um, uh, prioritise them as though they were gods. We kind of give them or, or second to them the authority of uh, being godly and being uh, able to, to speak to us. But they are by nature not gods. And the difficulty is when we sort of uh, lean towards them, when we give our attention, our focus, our admiration towards them, whatever these powers and principalities are, we become enslaved by them. We become wrapped up in their regulations and their ideas and their, their code for how we live. We become enslaved by sin. This is a, a common theme of Paul throughout his letters, the, the image of being enslaved or trapped or locked in to sin. And uh, Paul here is describing to the Galatians as he's kind of been spending a lot of time uh, on this link between law and grace or, or, or faith by grace, the grace of Jesus Christ. How that contrasts with the law and how the law is one example of something that locks us in and kind of uh, counts our sins against us. And formerly we were that when we did not know God, those who do not know God. And Paul isn't talking here about a kind of intellectual knowledge, an awareness of. Paul is talking about the emotional knowledge. And when you know somebody so deeply, so intently, that you, 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 are, you are part of them, I suppose. When we know God, when we know what God requires of us, and when our knowledge leads us to obedience... When we come to God uh, uh, aware of who he is, fearful for who he is, and determined to live for him whatever happens. That's what Paul is getting at here by knowing God. But formerly, when we did not know God, we were enslaved, we were trapped by nature, who, to those who by nature are not God's. It's a sorry state to be in, but it's a state that many of our friends, many of our neighbours, many of our colleagues are in still. And it's important that we recognise that because we are best placed to be the people who guide them out of that. But guide them into what? Tune in tomorrow and we'll discover. But meantime, let's pray. Lord God, thank you that you have rescued us. You've pulled us out of what we once were, what formerly we used to be. Thank you for saving us, Lord Jesus. Amen. Bless you. See you tomorrow.